Top five PowerShell commandlets. Commandlets you have to know. Uh, you know what? The first is invoke command without question. Uh, if you are running around individual servers, running commands on them, if you are remote desktoping into your servers to manage them, stop it. Invoke a command lets you send a command to multiple servers in parallel. The results come back to you. That's manageability. Uh, number two, you know what? Let's grab one from version three of PowerShell. Show command. PowerShell syntax trips people up. It's a command line interface. It takes a while to learn. Show command actually pops a command up in a dialog box, lets you fill out the parameters in a nice little GUI, and then produces the command line that you actually are going to run. So it helps you learn the syntax and, and get over the difficulty. I think it's a great investment piece. Uh, you know, the next one's also going to be from version 3, and it's going to be, let me see if I can remember it, new PS session configuration file, which is a mouthful. But for the first time, without having to do .NET programming, you can create an endpoint for remoting. I can apply security to it, so I can say, only Susie from sales is allowed to get to this, and I can have a configuration. The only commands she's going to have when she's in there is this one, this one, and this one. And I can apply a run as credential. So all those commands aren't going to run as her because she doesn't have permission. They're going to run as this other user, delegated administration. Uh, it's something I think a lot of people are going to take a little bit of time to kind of twig to, but oh, it's going to be awesome when they finally do. Get WMI object has to be number four. And if it's in version three, people need to remember that WMI commandlets are deprecated now. They're still there. They're still going to work. But the new way is, would be a get sim, C-I-M instance. Just the treasure trove of management information that's out there, uh, you can't ignore it. And last, uh, everybody's going to think I'm crazy for this, but it's convert to HTML. Um, and not the way most people use convert to HTML, but it actually has a minus fragment switch. That's, that's the way to use it. You gather information from five or six places, export each of them to an HTML fragment, and then let the command let bundle those into a completed HTML page. Intranet reports on demand. Uh, it seems like a simple little thing, but people actually spend a ton of time writing scripts to do this, and PowerShell will do it for you. Uh, I actually have a whole uh, column I did for technetmagazine.com that dives into that, so that's something people can look up and uh, really see how to leverage that.